so in this video I thought I would talk about how I package and store my milk. Um, I'm exclusively pumping from week one, well like the end of week one, so basically week two. Uh, I have uh, two freezers, um, basically we filled out one freezer which was seven cubic feet. We filled that one up and we bought one more that's 10.5 or 10 cubic feet. Um, and now so I've split up the milk between the two of them. So the older milks are in um, the seven cubic feet freezer as you'll see. I've just started rotating the milks. Um, I am almost five months postpartum she's gonna be five months in a few days and um, so at about four months I've started um, rotating the milk so I will take out one brick which has 10 bags 10 five ounce bags and I will defrost one in the morning and it will be ready to be eaten um, for her to drink um, the next day in the morning and that will be basically like her like a portion of her morning fe uh, feed uh, those five ounces in the morning she usually eats a lot so she'll eat like five to seven ounce in the morning and then have like a little break and then eat more uh, so yeah let's get started so now I will show you what I do to freeze the milk so that there is no air bubbles inside I have these milks to freeze uh, this has about three ounce and this probably also three ounce and so this is six ounce so what I usually put in the bag is actually um, just five ounce so I will write down the date uh, 23 I mark down that it's five ounce and it's usually not that accurate it's the 23rd so I'll put down the date on here and then here so this is for when I package it in the brick and this is for when I, um, this date is for when I actually put them in the bricks and it's easier to read. So then you separate this thing. And then what I do is, I will pour in the milk. And then you have to separate it and you can see that this only has four ounces, and then I will top it off and I usually go to five and a little bit more so it's actually about five and a half so I usually top it off and so it's actually about five and a half ounce a little less or the same <clears throat> and so next what I do is I will lay it down like this and you squeeze the bag so that up to here it's only milk and there's air at the top here and then you basically press like this and then this has the double seal which I like these are the line snow bags by the way and then I go from side like this and then I do like this and then you can see that there's no air bubbles inside and they freeze very very flat which I like so yeah, this is basically how I freeze the bag, bags and this is the finished product. So this is what I use to um, put them in the bricks. And that, this date is for when I take out the bricks just to make sure the dates are fine. So here I'm just showing you guys how I um, package the individual milks into bricks. Um, so how I store them is I freeze them in my regular freezer and this is milk uh, frozen from about a week and then I take them out and lay them out on the counter like this and then I take out um, each bag day by day uh, so the oldest date goes first as you can see in the Ziploc bag and I put them into just um, uh, regular Ziploc bags yeah so the oldest date was February the 20th and now I'm just putting them um, all into the Ziploc bag and I just use the regular ones not the freezer ones um, here we have uh, 10 bags now but the bag is not that full and so I tried to put in another um, another milk but uh, as you can see it doesn't fit and so this bag this brick will have 10 bags um, and then I will write down the month um, that this brick is from and then I will write down the dates for the bags, uh, for the individual bags at the top. Um, so this is 220 to 222. And then by the month in the circle, I will also put the number of the brick. 
And this is my freezer stash. Uh, so this is one of the freezers that I have. This is the 7.5. Um, and this we just got from Best Buy. There's also some milks here that I froze. Um, they're actually not even frozen yet, um, but I use this um, to freeze sometimes. So this is the number of the bricks. So this is from November and this is brick number 13. That's brick number nine. It's brick number 17, number five. And we're actually rotating through the milks. So I've already used um, two first bricks from October that I had. And this is brick number three at the top and that's number four. So the way they're stored is uh, one is at the top and then two, three, four at the bottom. So the bottom brick is four. And then the next stack, and I stack them in stacks of four, the next stack is brick number five and then underneath is six, seven, eight. And right beside brick number five, there is number nine and underneath is 10, 11, 12. So that's how it's basically stacked. And then um, at the top of the freezer, I would have another stack of four. So now we will transfer brick number three into the regular fridge where I have just one baggie left from brick number two, as you can see. Don't mind my fridge, it's a little uh, messy. So now we've put in the brick number three in the fridge and then the last bag also goes in there. And so this is how the milks are frozen. Um, you can see um, in the corner the frozen ones and then uh, the this one and the one on the napkin are fresh milks that are just being frozen right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. Um, please ask me any questions. Thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe below. Please feel free to ask me any questions. You can leave your questions in the comments. Please like this video if you do like this kind of content. This really helps me out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.